Today I want to get into Jungkook saying something that has been very tough recently. I want to get into Jungkook shamed for showing his lips in a new photo. And then I want to get into a clip of Taeyang that has recently been trending. So you don't please Dave Desai, hate or not, make sure you subscribe to it with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling nuts, hey spilling work merch, and let's go. We need to talk about some of the new photos that have come out and just why is everyone freaking out over these photos. First off, there's been some new concept photos that have come out of both Jungkook and Taeyang. Jungkook is dressed up in a gray suit and he looks absolutely so stunning. We are also seeing Taeyang dressed up in a bit more with his hair slicked back and he looks so amazing. Since these photos and concepts seem to have come out around the same time, people have definitely been bringing up old Taeyang and Jungkook moments to say that the two are very cute and that they have a lot of cute moments. One moment that was recirculated was a moment where Taeyang and Jungkook both did the dance challenge run BTS at a popular celebrity hotel and they both did such an amazing job at the dance. The The video then went viral and there were so many rumors as to why they were there but I personally believe they were just there together after a long flight and both had official schedules right before then so they likely both spent some time together on a bit of a break in between their activities. This naturally promoted other dance moments and people trying to look for other moments in which we see Tang and Jungkook dancing together. We even got to see a moment where Tang and Jungkook were at a BTS concert and they did a bit of a dance. This was definitely more early days at BTS and they absolutely killed it. I would say as their career continued, they started to not necessarily need to learn to do these intense crazy choreographies and they were more so accepted for not going crazy with the dancing. But I think what gave them an edge in the beginning was doing these crazy dances while still being able to sing perfectly live. I actually think their attempt with On was to bring that back a little bit more. People loved seeing moments where we see a subunit come together and perform together. It's very cute and both Tang and Jungkook are so talented. I think with the recent concept photos coming out at similar times, people are definitely aching to see if Jungkook will make it onto Tang's new promotion, maybe as a remix or a feature, and if Jungkook will have Tang feature when his album comes out. Sometimes artists like to take a song that may not have a feature on the album, but add one to release as a promotional song, so there's still a chance we can see Tang add Jungkook to some of his music. But I have a feeling Jungkook may want Tang on his album to join in on the dancing, and this is because the Run BTS challenge got so big. So I think Jungkook would look at that and say that the two dancing is definitely something that gets a lot of attention, so why not do it? I love seeing these moments, and even if we just keep seeing additional dance challenges with both of them, I would love that. Jungkook is so talented that it's actually extremely hard to believe that he he gets a lot of hate, but shockingly he does. And I think it's because he's so talented and so popular. I can understand why the more popular you get, the more hate you get, because you're shoved in front of everyone's faces and people who may carry ignorant beliefs or people who are just not that into you are going to see you more. And of course, they may not even object to seeing you, but that means they're going to leave nasty comments. We live in a society where we all gossip about other celebrities or people, and we may even gossip or say bad things about someone who we don't hate but just say it to pass the time. But instead we are now living in a world where everything we say gets broadcasted to a whole community when before it was just done in the comfort of your own home in secret. Jungkook also gets a lot of hate because he is currently the one disrupting K-pop. And by disrupting I mean he is the one that is doing something very different and making waves as an Asian in America. He is releasing a hit song in the US and it's climbing charts. It's one of the first times we are seeing a very successful Asian artist hit the charts and then become mainstream. And also seeing less and less stereotypes and stigma associated with seeing those Asian acts in the mainstream. Of course, this also means during mainstream American interviews, the idol is just going to be asked questions about their hate comments and all those sorts of things. When Vogue asked this, Jungkook had an interesting answer. Jungkook said the driving force behind all the success and his desire to pursue his own thing comes from 
army. Jungkook believes that the only reason he believes he can do what he does and believes this is the reason he is successful. And I totally agree. He talks about how armies are always awaiting patiently for new works and that Jungkook feels an innate desire because of that to create the best art that he can. And because of that, he feels like he needs to be himself and his true self. He talks about how tough it is and how much pressure he feels to make sure he is himself. And the more pressure he feels externally will result in him feeling like he needs to be more natural and be more himself. I think this is a very real answer and a very candid one. I think it's very tough to be yourself in the entertainment industry and tougher than most people think. In most people's lives, if you're being yourself and people don't like you, then tough cookies to them. You live your life and find people who do like you. However, in entertainment, it's hard because the singers have investors, the singers have pressure from the labels and all sorts of things to make sure they generate sales and results. How do you do that? People have to like you. So you're encouraged in entertainment to only be yourself if you sell and being yourself makes more money. This is a hit or miss for Jungkook. He'll do things like get tattoos or smoke or sing about sex and get extreme backlash. And these are things that are a part of him. So him addressing this comment was also his response to the hate comments, being like, it's very tough to find a right balance for all this. My only advice or comment on this is that Jungkook should really not spend any time online reading anything that is about him, good or bad. Because anything that actually will make it to his attention, i.e. if he was actually a part of a scandal, will find its way to him during live streams and various things like that. However, most of these issues and hate comments never reach the point where the majority of armies see them, and it doesn't reach to a point where it actually impacts the idol's career. For example, Jungkook gets hate for literally doing anything. Anything can be things ranging from eating an apple or scrunching his face when he eats something good, just a bunch of very random things. He was recently receiving hate comments for trying to look hot during a photo shoot. I think this is so strange to bash someone for because of course the idol is going to try to look good. That the thing that I think makes people upset is because Jungkook knows that he is attractive and people are upset about that. There was a photo shoot that Jungkook did with Days Magazine and he was sitting in the steering wheel of his car and he was pursing his lips. He was trying to make his lips look good and this got some hate with people saying he looks like a perverted old man. But what if that's the look he's going for, huh? Obviously he's not going for that and I think he looks great, but if that is what you think, then just move on. Rightfully so, a lot of armies were so furious about this because why is someone insulting a photo shoot? And of course, naturally you're shooting photos, you're going to dress up and try to look as good as you possibly can. Other people think it's just haters trying to set up Jenny from Blackpink because the profile picture of the leading hate comment of this is Jenny. So people see Jenny and then the replies are then going to all be people insulting Jenny saying, well, the person you like isn't that great because so and so. And it just ends up being a bunch of comments trying to insult Jenny, and Jenny is literally innocent. No member of Blackpink actually hates BTS and vice versa. That's completely a made up fan drama that got way too big. Usually, when artists are up and coming, fans will compare the two artists or group together as a rivalry, but usually one group or artist will fade, and suddenly the artist has no more fan wars. However, neither BTS nor Blackpink faded, so the drama got bigger. Others decided to slut shame Jungkook for his photo shoot and say terrible things and accuse him of being slutty in a car or showing how he kisses and this is absolutely crazy. I don't like this at all. If he decides to be slutty then move on. Find another person that you like that isn't slutty or be slutty yourself and accept that people are going to enjoy having sex. That's the nature of life and an important part of life in order to have life. Not something to be ashamed of and not something to shame others for. This idea that everyone had in their head where BTS is so much better than everyone else because they don't do things that the other American artists do is so stupid. Stupid, because that wasn't even something the label encouraged, let alone an image that did not represent the individual members. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks, just a lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.